Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing a relaxing yoga session for protection. We will meditate or create an intention for protection and we'll stretch and relax. Grab your favorite blanket or a yoga blanket or a yoga Mexican blankets, one or two and we'll cozy up, stretch and use the power of our mind of our intention to create a space of relaxation and a feeling of being protected in this world sometimes things feel like they're spinning out of control everything is going wrong things are stacking against us and we build up this <laughs> feeling of anxiety in those moments come to this class take a step back breathe it is all good it will all work out at the end it really will and that's the truth of the matter it will work out. So, let's flow with strength and ease. Starting in a comfortable seated position, you will roll up your blanket so that you can stack it up a little higher and you will place it underneath your booty and you know, come into a comfortable supported cross-legged position which is ideal for meditation because it puts your spine in a proper alignment in the case that you're not able to straighten it otherwise and sometimes if your hips are a little too tight and roll the shoulders back and down lengthen through the crown of the head take a big breath in And now engage Mula Bandha. As you inhale, bringing all the energies in towards the mid center of the body, midline center. Oftentimes, if you feel anxiety, stress, Mula Bandha, always Mula Bandha. Mula Bandha is the root chakra lock. And again, inhale, Mula Bandha engages. Exhale. Inhale, Mula Bandha engages. Exhale this time, place your hands on your lower belly. And as you inhale, engage your Mula Bandha and see how this tightens all the lower abdominal muscles. And you will bring the soles of the feet together here. Continue breathing. Extend the left leg in front of you bend the right leg lower down you don't have to go far here keep your back straight so even if you're just standing here and you're already feeling your hamstrings engaging this is also okay it is perfect really as long as you feel your hamstring stretching your back is in a neutral position and it feels good so learn to listen to your back opposite side for different people stretching means a different place some people may not feel anything here and some people might be way beyond their limits here error usually we make mistakes when 
when we don't listen, so we always want to listen. All right, starting the floor session with a mild, gentle chest opener. So you're going to roll your blanket. You can even stack two blankets here for a little added uh, size, but you don't have to. And you're going to bring your tailbone to the end of the blanket and you're gonna lay down spine on the blanket. Feel free to keep the soles of the feet together or the legs extended. You can let the feet flap out and close the eyes. And this time you will inhale through the third eye. And we'll just use a mantra here, I'm safe. in the womb of the earth. I'm safe in the womb of the earth. I'm safe in the womb of the earth. I feel safe and protected. I feel safe and protected. I feel safe and protected. My soul is cared for and protected in the universe. My soul is cared for and protected in the universe. My soul is cared for and protected in the universe. I feel a sense of freedom on a soul level. I have a sense of freedom on a soul level. I experience a sense of freedom on a soul level. feel safe so that I can open my heart and experience the joy in this universe. Surrounding yourself now mentally with an image of a light sphere around you glowing either in light which contains all the colors in the spectrum or just glowing in a certain color and surrounding yourself with that light that sphere creating protection safety a safe place for your body, for your soul, for your mind. Allowing now your shoulders to drop as the heart opens more, the chest opens more. So not tensing the shoulders and still maintaining some form of control here, but rather letting them drop. Soften the jaw, relax the jaw, soften the face muscles and smile. It is very important to communicate to your body through a tiny smile that we cultivate during our yoga practice and during our day. The breath is free. The throat is free. Inhaling with a sense of freedom through the heart and through the chest. So inhaling and feel your chest expanding. 
feel your heart blossoming, physical and spiritual heart, dissolving all the armor, all the necessary protection we've built around it energetically and even physically by collapsing the chest. Feeling the freedom to express yourself once we've tapped into that feeling of safety. Beautiful, to come out of this, you're gonna bend your knees one at a time and roll onto one side, glide the bottom arm. Underneath you, press the top arm into the floor and we're gonna go into embryo in the womb. Again, one or two blankets between the legs. I do that at night actually because it is really good for the hips to line them and to line the knees at hip level so that they're not collapsing. This is really good for the hips. So you're going to lay down. You can bring your hands underneath your head and feel how good this feels in the hips when the knees are properly supported. Close the eyes and imagine your energetic umbilical cord extending into the center of the earth. Imagine yourself surrounded by water, amniotic fluid in a womb, the womb of the earth, or even you as an infant, as an embryo in the womb of your mother. Imagine the feeling of safety and just see yourself in this protected space, safe, secure, nourished, loved, cared for, connected through the umbilical cord. Listen to the sound of your breath creating that sound of the womb, that whooshing sound. Similar to the sound of Ujjayi breathing. Great, and let's use the top hand to press ourselves up. And remove the blankets. We're going to, again, fold the blankets, either one or two blankets, if you want more height fold them and stack them on top of each other and we're going to sit on the blankets and slowly 
bring your tailbone onto the blanket and slowly lower yourself down into a reclining position so here focus on letting go you will keep your toes straight forward so don't flap them out because we want to stretch the core the hip flexors even the chest you can turn the palms of the hands up receiving energy receiving prana generating prana through your breath breathing here and again returning to your mantra of i feel safe and protected and breathe free up the chest soften the belly soften the hips with with intention This is a really gentle inversion given to it. now bring your feet onto the ground soles of the feet you can stay here or you can lift the legs making it easy on the circulation here for a few moments again in a gentle inversion legs lifted bend the knees and release roll out of it again onto your side top hand pressing into the floor and finishing with a really calming pose here you spread the legs open again no striving here just whatever feels good feel free to stack your blankets even higher in a blanket which will give you a little extra extra height and lower down now here this one is a little st stiffer i could probably just roll it on the short side and just rest here so whatever works for you stack your blankets and bring them under your forehead alternatively you can bring them under your chest and rest here bringing the forehead the frontal lobes of the brain down towards the floor is very very calming this is proven to be calming for the nervous system Returning to the mantra of protection and to the visualization of glowing light around you. Creating that bubble in which you feel safe and protected. Nourished and cared for. great 
coming out of this and you can sit again on one or two blankets in the original comfortable cross-legged position you can sit on the floor as well this is this props you for if you're to do a longer meditation this will help you stay longer in with the proper back alignment let's finish off with a little bit of a nice scalp massage so here lightly with gentle pressure you're going to bring your fingers in front of the ears and glide them down without too much pressure very gentle pressure just accessing the lymph allowing the lymph to start flowing sometimes it will even release some saliva this allows the drainage to start getting out of the head You can just do the neck here, right under the ears. Great, now you will grab your, with your fingers, you'll grab your eyebrows, pull them apart and pull the skin away from the bone. And you can look up and down and sideways. Spread your fingers a little further out and again pull it out. Feel how this relaxes all the muscles around the eye and out. One more time. Lift the skin. Great. Bring the fingers on the hairline. Circular movement moving through the hair towards the top of the head and again moving through the hair towards the top of the head moving through the hair towards the top of the head moving the fingers a little further up and massaging the head Great, grab your ears and pull them out and up and down the whole ear. So you're grabbing the whole ear as much as you can and pull down without hurting yourself, of course. Gently, but gentle, but firm. Pull out, pull down, pull up. And now massage the soft part of your ear. Massage, massage, massage. Massage, massage up the ear lobe. Massage, massage, massage. Give yourself a good massage here. Loving, caring for yourself. Pampering yourself, basically taking care of yourself. Babying yourself. All right, so now you're going to massage behind the ear and down the neck behind and down behind and down bring your hands on the back of the head again hairline area and just glide your fingers up very firm pressure here gliding up through the hair gliding up Ooh, ooh, this makes makes you want to cross your eyes it feels so good Stretching here by pulling the skin up. This brings circulation to that area. Massaging the third eye center. And here we're just going to bring the fingertips on the eyebrows and out temples. Eyebrows, temples, eyebrows, temples, eyebrow temples. fingers onto the eyebrows and bring them up bring them up bring them up bring them up
slow it down just slowly slowly pausing pausing at the top holding one One more. And release. Inhale your hands over the head. Exhale them over the third eye. Making a commitment to always pay attention to your intuition, to always listen to your intuition. Stay connected to your truth. Hands over the heart, bowing to our hearts for their forgiveness, compassion, and love. Thank you all for joining me today. I hope you feel very relaxed and you've let some of your worries go and let some more light in. And I'll see you again on Wednesday. Remember to flow with strength and ease. Namaste.